Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by HedgeDesignTutorials.com. Today, we'll learn together how to create the stop motion effect in both Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. First, I'll show you how to create the stop motion effect in Adobe Premiere Pro, then later we'll switch to Adobe After Effects for more advanced techniques. In Premiere Pro, in the lower left side of the workspace, Make sure to click the arrow button to switch to the project panel. Then let's drag and drop the first video inside the project panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. Right click the video and select New Sequence from Clip. First, we need to add markers in where we want to freeze the motion of the girl. We can add markers by clicking the Add Marker button. Or we can add markers in a rhythmic way by playing the sequence and start tapping M on the keyboard to add markers. Nice! Now since we have markers, we can hold Shift key on the keyboard and easily move the playhead to stick to the timing of the frames we've selected. Let's hold Shift key on the keyboard, then drag and place the playhead on the first marker, then go to File Menu, Export and select Media. In the export window, from format, we can choose to export this frame as a JPEG image file or as PNG. I will export it as PNG. Uncheck Export as Sequence. Check mark Render at Maximum Depth. Uncheck Include Alpha Channel. Make sure Use Maximum Render Quality is checked. Click the output name, then select a folder for your export. Then name your file as Photo1, then click on Save. Click on Export to export the image file. Let's export the second frame. Hold Shift key on the keyboard, then move the playhead to the next frame. Go to File Menu, Export Media, and leave all the settings as is, and click on the output name, then name your image file as Photo2, then click on Save. Click on Export. I'll repeat the same thing to export all the marked frames. After done exporting all the necessary frames for the effect, I'll drag and drop each photo inside Photoshop to cut the background behind the girl. To remove the background, I'll use the pen tool to create a selection around the subject. After John creating the path, go to Paths panel and hold Ctrl key on the keyboard, then click the thumbnail of the layer to convert the path into selection. Go to Select Menu and choose Inverse, then tap the Delete key on the keyboard to remove the background. Now go to File Menu, Export, 
then select Save for Web. Make sure PNG24 is selected and Transparency is checked, then click on Save. Choose a folder for your export, then gave your file a name, then hit the Save button to export the PNG file. Now I'll close this photo and bring the next photo in Photoshop to repeat the same thing until I remove the background from all the remaining photos. After done removing the background from all the photos, your PNG images should look like this. Now let's select all these PNG files and drop them inside the project panel in Premiere Pro. I will drag the first photo to the timeline and place its beginning on the first marker. Then I'll drag the end of the photo sequence to align it with the end of the original video sequence. I'll repeat the same thing and stack all the photos, each on a separate track. Let's tap Spacebar to preview what we have done. Here is the result that we can achieve in Adobe Premiere Pro. But if we zoom in on the feet of our subject, we'll find out that it's not stable on the ground and that's because when the shot was taken, the camera wasn't still. So to fix this issue, we need to track the movements of the camera, then convert the PNG photos into 3D layers in After Effects, so whenever the camera moves, the subject will remain stable on its position on the background. So let's move on to Adobe After Effects. In After Effects, I've set up the same scene with the same elements, but this time I'll go under Effects and Presets and search for the 3D camera tracker, then drag it and drop it on the footage to track the camera movements. Once the camera tracking is done, we can right-click in between any three tracking points, then select Create Null and Camera. This will create a 3D camera tracker layer and a null object layer. Now I'll go to the project panel and drag the first PNG file into the composition. Then I'll hold shift key on the keyboard to trim the beginning of the layer and stick it to the first marker. Now if I zoom in, the feet is still not stable on the ground. So we need to turn on 3D on this layer, then check again. Good, now the subject is stable on the ground. Let's repeat this again. So, for example, let's drag the third PNG photo and place it on the third marker. And don't forget to turn on 3D for this layer. 
If by default the position of the layer changes after turning on 3D on that layer, we can manually adjust the position of the layer. After done adding the remaining PNG photos in the composition, let's preview the effect we've done in Adobe After Effects. Good, now let's move on to the second example in our tutorial. This time I'll start from scratch to show you how I've made the second example. So, let's drag the second video and drop it inside the project panel in After Effects. Then, let's drag the video and drop it over this icon here to create a new composition from this video. As before, we will start by adding markers in where we want the effect to happen. So, from the right side of the timeline, you can hold Shift key on the keyboard, then drag a marker and stick it to the playhead as shown. Now let's move the playhead forward to select another frame for the effect. Then grab another marker to mark the timing of the second frame. I repeat the same thing until I'm done adding all the markers I need. Once I'm done, I'll hold Shift key, then I'll move the playhead to the first marker. Then I'll go to Composition menu, Save Frame As, then select Photoshop Layers. I'll choose a folder for my export, then name my PSD file as Photo1, then click on Save. I'll repeat the same thing to export the second frame and all the remaining frames. After done exporting the PSD files, I'll go to the folder in where I've exported the photos, then I'll drag the first PSD photo inside Adobe Photoshop. In Photoshop, I'll do the same thing as before and use the pen tool to create a selection around the arms of the subject. Then I'll convert the path into selection Then go to Select Menu to inverse the selection, then tap the Delete key on the keyboard to remove the background. Now I'll go to File Menu to export the arms of this lady as a PNG image file. I'll repeat the same process until I'm done exporting all the frames needed for the effect. After done exporting all the PNG files, here's what things should look like. I'll select all these files and drop them inside After Effects.
Now I'll make sure my video layer is selected, then I'll go to the animation menu, but this time I'll select track motion from the list. Let's adjust the position and the size of the tracking point. I'll position the playhead before the markers. Then I'll click this play button to start tracking forward the selected point of interest. Now I'll expand the layer of the video and navigate to the track point property to select and copy all the tracking keyframes from the attach point property. Once the attach point track keyframes are selected, tap Ctrl plus C on the keyboard to copy the keyframes. Now let's drag the first PNG photo inside the composition. Then click hold and drag the beginning of the layer from the left to trim it and align its beginning with the first marker. Now for the PNG arms to follow the motion of the body, we should first position the playhead into where the motion tracking begins. Then select the PNG layer and tap P on the keyboard to expand the position property. And then click the stopwatch icon to activate the animation. I'll move backward the first keyframe created by default, then I'll tap Ctrl plus V on the keyboard to paste the keyframes. Now the PNG arms layer is following the captured motion, but we need to adjust the position of the layer correctly. To do this, while the PNG layer is selected, we can tap A on the keyboard to expand the anchor point property. Then we can adjust the values of the anchor point to adjust the position of the arms correctly. I'll repeat the same previous steps to add all the remaining PNG layers in the composition. After done adding all the PNG layers in the composition, here's what the stop motion effect looks like. So let's watch the final result. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.